guys, Zuljin here. Welcome to Everspace Encounters. This is the brand new expansion pack that dropped yesterday. And I want to give a big shout out to Rockfish Games for hooking me up with the key and sponsoring this game. So, Everspace, if you're not familiar with it, it is a space sim, a roguelike space sim. But it's more optimized like a fast-paced shooter. It uses mouse and keyboard, even though it does have HOTA support. We're going to be using mouse and keyboard today. And we're gonna go through the story in the tutorial right here. With me. I'm having memory loops. There was a dispute. I was standing in the way of their plans. I was restrained. Shot with something. In the neck. Ouch. Who is this? I managed to escape. That's all I can remember. I must find some answers. Of answers we shall find. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Pilot requires further training. Look how pretty. Activating automatic assistance. Love space. Stand by. Uh, assistance? Uh. <laughs> I suppose I could use some pointers. So, as in traditional games, like if you would be playing, you know, a 3D game, W is forward, S is back, left, right for yaw, Q and E is roll, left control down, space is up, left click, right click, you get the gist, man. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Um, let's go, and you can shift for, uh, to accelerate or to boost. Let's begin by shooting targets. Well, shooting targets. Enough. Easy sauce. It's easy sauce. My aim is kind of potato too, but <laughs> I could probably turn down my mouse sensitivity to help a little bit. But all right, Gatling gun. So shields, lasers, Gatling gun, hull. That's pretty straightforward. All right. Shields are down. Then I just scroll down to change my primary. Nice. Scroll back. Oh, come back here, boy. Use missiles on the next targets. Missiles. Target block before Who says so missiles, man? Computer. Where did you learn how to pronounce missiles? It's a missile. Watch. Boom. Wow. <laughs> I love it. You can target with middle click. Quickness. Beautiful. Alright. as if you're ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the Where orbit. did you create it, Ebra? I'm waiting for the arrow. It's gonna tell me. Down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> when you use that Q, and when you turn and you use roll, oh my god. It feels so sharp. <laughs> Alright, let's travel. Get to the next spot. As you can see from your fuel gauge, a substantial amount was consumed during transit. You should aim to refill the jump consume. drive completely. <laughs> there is a There's no why I'm consuming, man. Shoot at it to extract fuel. Shoot at the asteroid, the mineable asteroid, to collect fuel, alright? Here we go. Mineable fuel. Oh, maybe our range is out. There we go. Oh, fuel. Everywhere. I'm out of energy, bro. <laughs> All right, we full. Fuel limit reached. That should do it. Remaining well provisioned is key to survival in the cluster. Before leaving the orbit, it is recommended you explore the location for resources. Resources. My boy just got a different kind of accent on him, I think. So do I. I suppose he thinks I talk funny. Who are you talking about talking funny? You just a robot anyway. I have located a container at some distance. 
Ah, resources. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> don't have a free slot to install it. Ooh, Decide for yourself beam you want to laser. Uh, press F. Oh, all right. Um, okay, so hull DPS is greater. Shield DPS is less. Energy consumption is less. Range is less. Spread is none. All right. What about in comparison to the Gatling? You know what? I think I'm a big fan of beam lasers, but I'm going to use pulse. All right. So we're just going to salvage this. Or and scrap. Beautiful. Naturally, you can craft in this game, too. And upgrade ships and all that good stuff. I'm going to show you guys what's up. All right, R2 use currently selected active device. All right, so that's the weapon overdrive. Oh. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. I like the sound of that. Oh, he is busting me up. For crafting and upgrading your equipment. It appears, however, oh, that we have energized boost. Hold on. What was this all about? I got loot. Uh, energy consumption shield. Oh. So you can do an energized boost, instantly increase your ship's boost for a short time, shuts down your shield when activated. Well, I ain't got no spot. Oh, instead of shield. Oh, so I can trade it in for weapon overdrive or shield. I only have two slots. I if I hit tab. Yeah, okay, so this is this is basically my deal here. So I got one secondary weapon, two primaries that I could switch between two of these devices which is a shield which is passive and a weapon overdrive and the consumables I don't have yet so this game has some new consumables well the DLC has some new consumables as well as new quest lines and all kinds of stuff I, you know what guys I think I'm gonna salvage it salvage savage I think I'm gonna salvage this as well I'm gonna get some scrap and some plasma cool all right there's also a hardcore mode. I haven't really checked that out yet, but we'll take a look at it. I love the roguelike elements of this game, too. Um, like, it's okay to die. I can't tell you how comfortable, <laughs> comforting that is. I do a little bit of that in, in games, man. What's my objective? Reaching your destination. Outlaws. Where is that? It's still a long way to go. You will understand more when we get there. I would prefer some more substance to your answers. Substance. Energy. Boosting fire and primary weapons using devices consume energy. Pay attention to the energy war below the crosshair. It might be smart to wait for the energy to recharge. All right. Oh, that, that green. That green is my... All right. Cool. Outlaws. Independent operators with varying affiliations profiting from trafficking, extortion, illegal weapons trading, piracy, clone smuggling... Maybe they have something I need. Credits. More credits. Beautiful. I could use more credits. All right, where was them other dudes at? Over here. All right, there's a there's a cup there's a few of them. They in wing. All right. This might hurt. <laughs> this might hurt you guys. Maybe we weapon overdrive for this, right? Shield booster is C. I got to remember that. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. I like the sound of that. That's just what I need. Nice. Where's where's the other one at? Oh, where'd he go? Up. Oh. Ooh. Potato aim. Dead nanobots. What the? What is nanobots? I got nanobots. Scrap. Nice. Anything else that I'm forgetting? Usually they give you some little mineable fuel. What is this over here? Fuel. All right, so blue automatically means there's something, but you might not necessarily need that. Uh, my fuel, I should get a little bit, though. 
Let's, let's get a little bit. Mineable fuel, mineable. Oh, wait, no. Mineable crystal. That's different, though. All right, fuel limit reached. Let's go check out this mineable crystal right quick. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's in here? What? I'm in the asteroid. Mom, look, I'm in the asteroid. Ow. Mom, look, I'm in the asteroid. <gasps> oh, what is shooting me like this? I, I, I did. Oh, great. <laughs> All right. Um, tech container. Ooh, G and B distress beacon. Oh, they got like, I see what's going on. They have like mines inside of here. That's what was hitting me early, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. Crystal fully mined. That tells you. Good. Alright, any other thing I'm missing? Crystals? Another tech container. Man. Nanobots. This was the... This is the mother load right here. Hot damn! Alright, now I can jump. Jumping out... The galaxy. All right. Next. Jump gate. Reaching the next sector. You have reached the final location of this sector. Fly through the jump gate in order to reach the next sector. You won't be needing any fuel for the jump. Jump gates are the primary method of travel what between systems. What is that? Systems. Oh, it's a traitor ship. Built by oh, hey! For their mining drones to reach areas more efficiently. Okay, thanks for the introduction. Now, you want me to use this? It is the only way to the next sector. So, yes. Oh, he is busting me up. Look how all... Hold on, we using missiles. Damage to the ship components, yeah. I mean, I see that. Low health. Did I use a shield booster yet? Oh, baby. I'm out of energy, man. This is not good. I see you are improving. Getting the feel of things. I'm trying, boo. I'm trying. All right. Where's he at? This guy's almost done for. Uh-uh. Did I? Oh, I exploded! <laughs> oh, damn. All right, so. Sector credits, 1,046. Loot, well, that's what I got the credits for. Uh, and kills, 12. Sector 1, all right. So, watch this. You go back to hangar. Perks and upgrades available. This is the roguelike element to this. So, uh, you have earned in credits in your last run in order to buy a new perk. Go to the perk screen, third tab, and buy a perk that you can afford, indicated by the green plus. Buying certain perks will also unlock new ones. Note that you will lose all your credits every time you start a new run, so it's wise to always spend them all. Uh-huh. So, let's go to perks. What we got here? Critical hit chance. Critical damage. Sector scanner. What is... Uh, on the right side, it says. It adds additional information to the sector map. Unlocks retrieval. Unlocks trading. Uh, credit loot bonus. Oh, my. Uh, cost is 200. Unlocks rare loot chance. Unlocks lucky jump chance. Um, can, I, can I buy? Can I upgrade? Upgraded. Nice. All right. And rare loot chance. Uh, increase the chance of finding better loot. 
Uh, unlocks crafting costs. All right, we buying this one too. Oh no, that's twenty five hundred dollars. Uh, too much. So I can upgrade this one for another three hundred. But let's see what else they have. Component damage chance, lucky jump chance. What is lucky jump? Increase the chance of surviving a jump with insufficient fuel. Oh. Oh. So I have eight hundred bucks left. Let's see. So I, this is five, so I could do that. And I could do a five and a three. Component damage, nanobot efficiency, increases the amount of hull points repaired by one nanobot. This is 500. Device slots, <gasps> cost 200. Yes, yes, we want more device slots. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, you need four to do that? All right, so I have 600 left. Energy efficiency, energy capacity. Let's do that. Very nice. That's 500. We only have 446 left to spend fuel capacity. No, that costs 1,000. All right, let's do... That's 500. We don't have quite enough for that. Nanobody efficiency, 500. We can bring this up to three... I think that's what we're gonna go for right there, y'all. This is 200 for a sector scanner. Actually, let's do that. And now we have one more that we can spend if we have any more. We have $246. Can we buy anything with $200? Can we buy anything? No. No, all right. Poor, poor, plan poor planning on my part. Poor budgeting on my part, but it's all good. Okay. So, the new ship. This is the one that we have, medium fighter, all right? It's a Colonial Interceptor. They got a couple that you could buy, one for 10,000 credits called the Colonial Scout. Has all its hit points here. Then they got a big one, which is the Colonial Gunship. It's a heavy class fighter. And this is the new one that just got unlocked called Colonial Sentinel. So, if we take a look at, let's see, hull points is 300. Hull points is two. Hull points is 450. Oh. Armor 10%, armor 0, shield hit points 125, shield hit points 210, ah, so it's a little bit shield oriented, well, what up with the setup here, okay, lightning gun, corrosion missiles, oh, baby, we using the, oh, yeah, baby, we are definitely using this one, okay, um, yeah, let's launch, man. Let's launch. Unspent credits. Yeah, we know. We know. Uh, oh, 25% less credit. Let's do normal. Let's do normal. Even though I'm bad, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> I hate to see what hard, how hard hardcore mode is. This time. this time I'll make it. This time I'll make it. Oh, this ship is sexy too, man. Look. We don't... We don't feels more maneuverable. Okay, uh, so... What we got over here? What is what is all that? Fuel transport? G and L fighters. I think that's good guys, because they don't have the same color of deals. Alright, let's jump. Jumping! Lightning gun do. What the heck does the lightning gun do? <laughs> what the heck does the lightning gun do, y'all? That's a G and B fighter. All right. I wonder what G and B stands for. Like good and bad, you think? Let's jump again. We basically gotta go through the few sectors that we already did. Hold on. What am I picking up on the broadcast channel here? Oh, I got lightning. I'm blasting him. Tendency towards reactive behavior. They are indigenous to the cluster, and the colonials uninvited guests. Distrust runs deep. <gasps> An exotic shield? Wait, wait, who's attacking me? There's another one. Uh-uh. No, no. You getting lightning bolted, sucker. I feel <laughs> I feel like the Dark Emperor. Device charger? What's that all about? Hold on. Hold on. Turret override. Temporarily overrides any turret with a certain range. To fight on your side. Oh. 
or device charging instantly resets all active cooldowns, making them available for use. Uh, hold on. We got devices, EMP generator, shield, corrosion missile, turret overrides, device charger. Turret overrides. Overrides any turret with certain range. Instantly resets all active device cooldowns. Okay, so the device charger is basically something that we already got. Uh, we're going to salvage that. And where was the other deal? Hold on. Credits. You don't want to miss those. Shield XC. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so Shield ST gives us... Oh, it's a class restricting the Sentinel. Class restricting is Interceptor. We can't use that even. We can't... Oh, or can I swap? Yeah, I could. Um... Well, the XC is a much better passive defense. It gives us... Oh, okay. Interceptor, Scout, or Sentinel. I see what's going on. So it has less hit points, but it has... The energy allocation is better. Recharge rate is better. Recharge delay is better. And shutdown duration is better. So... This one just takes more hits. I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm going to go ahead and salvage. All right. I don't know what I should go for yet. Like, what builds are good or whatever, you know? All right. Get us out of here. Next. Okay. Is this the sector where we fought? So many things. You have been offered a goods retrieval task in return for a monetary reward. Monetary? All right. Find the lost goods. Search area. So it just gave me a task? That's pretty cool. I don't know how this works. Do you... Alright, apparently we're just looking for lost goods here. Anything, there's blue that's like right there. Mineable gas? I don't think that's what they were looking for. But I'm gonna mine it. This lightning gun is OP, man. Gas fully mined, all right. Maybe it's that little section or whatever. Oh, I see. Do you reckon there's anything salvageable on this freighter? Probably, but I would not advise it as it may draw unwanted attention. Ah. Hmm, GNS supplies transport. Unwanted attention. He didn't advise it, but I mean, How long I gotta hit this thing for? Damn! I mean, we could do this all day. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, sh here we go. Who's shooting at me? Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god. That's the GNB people. No, we going, we going, we going, we going, we going. Go, go. Mayday, 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 mayday. Ah, uh ah, -uh. whoa. Who? Who, baby? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Stay on target. Oh, man. It keeps resetting me. 60, 70, 80, 90. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> I mean, he advised against it. <laughs> God dang it, Bobby. <laughs> Oh, I love the troublemaking you could get into. All right, here's the jump gate. 
Here's the traitor. There's outlaw drones right here. Oh, they get attacked. Um, we got to allow energy. Let's do it, man. Corrosion missiles. Let's try it, y'all. This could be a sticky situation here. All right, you did. They've locked on to me. What else can you tell me about this end of the galaxy? Cluster 34, also known as the Belt of Greens. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff a coming out of too. approximately 1,000 light years from the Sol system. Mapped to precision in the 24th century, but unexplored by Kalu. Oh, those corrosion missiles hit Two like lines between good stuff. And native Okar interests are still in dispute. Man, they got a bunch of them. Ooh, turret overrides, fuel. Yes, I'll take all of that stuff. So the trade vessel helped me out. Those corrosion missiles are badass, man. It's like they were taking damage over time. Like they were bleeding. I love it. How many of them? Oh, I'm out now. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's check this turret override. That's what I got already, right? I think that's what I have already. Uh, we can check this trader out too and see what he can sell us turret override device charger turret override I already have The turret overrides, so I'm just gonna scrap this okay All right, let's check the trader out now. Oh Hold on. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming, baby uh, Trait item all right, so we could buy missiles for gas. You give gas, you get missiles. All right. You give money, you get plasma. All right, I see here. All right, I got, uh, I like the little trade system. Now I got some missiles, four missiles. Beautiful, man. Very good, very good. Okay, let's go to the next sector, huh? Oh, we got some scrap. Let's pick that up. Was there something else we could have uh, attacked here? It looks like there's one enemy left. There's an outlaw scout. I want to finish him. This lightning gun does it all, baby. You will die. All right, shield booster. So, I think I like this device charger thing. Shield boost is pretty good, though. Uh, let's salvage it. Let's salvage it. All right. So, I guess I just go through the jump gate. It's a little bit different. Oh, yeah. Connecting to jump gate. Jump confirmed. All right. Oh, next door. Strange. Fragments of memories. Trying to make sense of them. I had managed to escape. I was weak and ill. My cells were deteriorating. A deadly poison. A cytotoxin. Eh? You need to get this checked out, bro. Relentless, eating me away. Maybe they injected some corrosion missile. <laughs> there was a way to halt its progress, but it would take time. All I could do was set the wheels in motion. Well, set them, bro. Set them. And await the outcome in stasis. Stasis. A long, uncertain sleep. To hell with that man. Sensors impaired. I saw myself again. Dying. This must be a memory from your original. Apparently a flaw in the transference protocol. The Eterna system was meant to filter such personal recollections. Wait, what are you saying? My original? I'm a 
A clone, yes. Usually this is not realized by limited use copies. The function of Eterna was to pass on operational skills, such as piloting. But it seems that something has gone wrong here. Stop. This is a lot to take on board all at once. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this happening? Who am I? Who is the Elite my Outlaw Scouts? I have no information on that. Perhaps there is a purpose to this aberration which will become clear upon reaching the coordinates given. I have no answers, unfortunately. But I am as curious as you are. Dude, running out of oxygen. Life support system was damaged. I figured that was gonna happen. <laughs> I figured that was gonna happen. So I'm a clone. Weird. But look at all this money. Look at all this money. And we insected too. At least we made it to a save point. Guys, that's gonna be it for today. We're gonna do a couple more videos as well. Next time we come back, we are gonna check out some of the upgrades and perks that we can get into. And I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks so much for watching as always this is ulgen signing off and we'll see you next time